Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universalis for as Albania. Okay, so in the previous episode, we've uh, basically consolidated our little empire here that we have. We're doing okay. Things are not too bad. We have uh, Bosnia as a vassal. We've got Hungary, Poland, and Austria as allies. Hopefully, I can attack the Ottomans here in a few years. However, I'm trying to pay off some debt. I have, let's see here, 188 ducats of debt. So, I was debating whether or not to use some of my points, my Diplo points, to develop Kosovo for some money, or to develop Athens for the Renaissance. Pour some points into Athens here in Diplo, pour some more points as far as military, right? But it can't be, because, because we have so many military points right now, we're actually five years ahead on military. Um, and so, I'm, I'm leaning towards developing Athens for the Renaissance... Instead of Kosovo with our gold mine points right now, because right now we're, you know, we would get a lot of money from, from developing this. At the same time, though, we do kind of need the Renaissance sometime fairly soon. It, we, we need some, we need some re Renaissance tech here because we're, we're paying 11% on our technologies right now. That's quite a bit. Um, the more we lag behind in, in technology, the worse it's going to be for us. We're actually probably one of the worst in Europe. Um... The Ottomans are at 555, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. They're going to be they're going to be up there because their leader is incredibly good. The 556 Mehmet the second Fatias Manangalu, and he's only 28 years old. Our Skanderbeg's 56. He's going to be seeing the end of his days here pretty soon. Um, so there's there's that to consider. Now, I like the money for Kosovo. I like the points in Athens for the Renaissance. We get right now we're going to get the Renaissance in 1470, but. There's another argument to be made here that what do you have to do? What do you have to have to embrace the Renaissance? You need money, right? We don't have a lot of cash right now. We have a positive income of about three ducats a month. So if we develop the gold mine now in Kosovo and keep working on developing Athens, we may in fact have enough money to get the Renaissance as soon as we're able to. So there's that trade-off. So actually, that does lead me to kind of want to develop Kosovo a little more because over time, right, if we develop Kosovo now, we get more money for a longer period of time versus, say, trying to develop Athens and expecting the Renaissance right now. You know? Hmm. And we have Montenegro and Separatists that are going to rise up here pretty soon. Although it's all right, we're defending in mountains, it's fine. I'm going to make an executive decision. We're going to develop Athens. We're going to pour some dip diplo points in here, and then we're going to pour more military in here as well. Awesome. We should have the Renaissance in four years. Excellent. And that's good. Um, I've got some power projection. We're not going to rival anybody here for a little while. Okay. Now we're going to let our country rebuild for a little while. I need some serious manpower. We don't have any man manpower at all in the country, um, which sucks. I can't really recruit any advisors. I, I really, really kind of want an Inquisitor. I need to get some of this stuff converted here. Um, even when I get... I'm, my first idea group is going to be religious. I don't even think I'm going to be able to convert stuff because we really don't make any cash at all. I don't know. We'll have to consider what we're, where we can make our gains. Okay. So we're, we're going to let this keep going. We're not going to put any more points into development here. What we're actually going to do is we're going to go to Kosovo. We're going to develop in Kosovo now. Nice. We just killed those separatists. Can I lower maintenance for a little while? Uh, we're going to see Serbs and Byzantines rise up in a couple years. Oh, dear Lord. We gave Hungary military access. Possibly he could help me with some rebels. That'd be nice. I don't need any relations with you anymore. Bosnia, I still need good relations with Bosnia because he's he's pretty pissed that we forced vassalized him. We can integrate him in 1468, so it's a little while to go. Poland, Poland and Austria, we might be able to shore up relations with them a little bit. Let's go and develop here in Kosovo. It's it's 56 points to develop this once, but we get 0 0.43 monthly income from that. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, there's some Serbian separatists there. We can change our national focus in 1470. That's cool. Let's see. Can I ally anybody against the Ottomans? Ooh. Mamluks and the Karakoy and Lu are very real targets for allies. Holy shit. Are you rivaled? 
Yeah, he's rivaled to both of those guys. Whoa. That's interesting. Let's improve relation with the Mamluks, see what happens. We don't have any relationship slots right now, but... Hell, if I can declare war on the Ottomans, we might actually try and do it. One of these days. Yeah, these Serbian separatists, oh my god, they're a 90%. Okay, so where do we need to defend? Kosovo, Zeta, Raska, Nice, Skopje. Wow, we're making 3.56 ducats a month. Let me get some let me get some quick mercs here. I think we'll defend oh you bitch. Oh shit, are you serious? Burgers state lose one stability or lose 20 legitimacy. Holy shit. Um Oh, dude, I don't know if I can lose, I can, I don't know if I can afford to lose one stability, but dude, 20 legitimacy is huge. However, because we have a, a strong claim error, we should get the legitimacy back, right? Oh, I don't want to have to do this, but I will have to. Yeah, we're at 50 legitimacy right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to rival the Ottomans and not Tunis. No, because if I rival the Ottomans in Tunis, it's going to encourage these guys to get an alliance, which I don't want. I'm, I rivaled the Ottomans because I actually think it's going to be a, it's going to be easier to get an alliance with some of these guys here. Car Queen Lou and the Mamluks. Hungry, can you can you attack those guys for me? He's got military access. Oh my God. Here come the rebels. That is disgusting. Holy crap. Holy crap. Ugh, that's gross. Let's see here. Oh, thank you, Hungary. You're very you're very kind. Holy shit. We got 30,000 Serbs here. Oh, dude, these Byzantines are going to rise up now, too. Holy shit balls! We've got 10 and 4. This is 11 and 5. Uh, let's see where he goes. Yeah, I think he's going to go to Skopje. I'd be surprised if he went to, went to Zeta, I will admit. God damn it. Can I beat him? I think I can. I don't want to attack those guys because I'm pretty sure that Hungary would actually... I'm almost positive that Hungary will actually attack that force right there. We're going to get some separatism from that, but... Let me see. Is it worth hiring any more troops? Can I take on that stack? 11 and 5. 11 and 5? Oh my god. 5 cavalry, no leader. Let's try it. We got a minus 1. Come on, baby. You can do it! Oh, fuck! Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, that was not a good battle. God damn it. God damn it. We need to take more loans. Son of a bitch, man. That was a decisive defeat. Fuck, come on, Hungary, dude. Why are you letting your rebels get in my fucking land? That's such bullshit. He's going to march on, um, let's see, where is he going to go? Let's try to engage him there. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Holy God. I think we can win this battle now. All right, let's see what we get here. We get a, uh, like a, an 11 to a four. Not bad. We got like another, another, we got a, yeah, an 11 to a 6. We got a 4 to a 2. 7 to a 7, or 6 to a 7. We got a 14, or we got a 13 to a 2. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right, well, at least we've cleared up the rebel problems, kind of. We need to fight, we need to face these Byzantines now. 
And the Byzantines are 18,000. Oh, Ottomans declared war on Byzantium. There it is. They're attacking for Constantinople. Last jousting tournament? Yep. I'm going to take it. We need that morale. Yeah, an alliance with the Mamluks is not going to happen, but it's not far off, actually. I'll admit. There's actually a little bit of sense in just... And just straight up consolidating my regular inventory. Let's go and hang out in Castoria. I think this is two stacks. It's Macedonia, Castoria, and Thessaly. And they usually rise up in the place with the most development, which will be most likely Macedonia and Thessaly. I think it's going to be stacks of nine. I'm hoping that it is. Because if it is, I'm actually going to be able to probably take these guys out piecemeal. Go and develop Kosovo because I need this. I need this income here. Okay, I can't develop Kosovo anymore because um, you can't develop more than the sum of the other two categories. Pretty serious inflation: zero point one two or zero point one four percent per year. That's that's incredibly high. What's going on with the uh, the Byzantines here? Uh, the nobility wants more land. That's kind of strange. I don't know why they want land. Shit, I don't know what to give them. I guess Nice, maybe? Nice is 19.5%. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. That'll be alright. It's fine. It's only three development, three, three base tax, three diplo. Let's see. So we have 24 slimmen, huh? Um, if I'm able to get Kosovo's development up quite a bit, which is not impossible. Actually, I think it's well worth it to actually put some Diplo points in here. So that, uh, we, we put some military points to be able to put some Diplo points. We only want to get up to 10 Diplo. There we go. We don't want to develop any more than that. Um, I actually think it's worth it for the money. It's actually, yeah, it's going to be worth it to... It's going to be worth it to put military points into Kosovo for, for Diplo points. That's worth it, right? Because we're going to be getting the Renaissance here pretty soon. We're going to want to... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That works out okay. Pay some loans. Yeah, let's pay some loans. Um... No! <laughs> no, our beloved fucking heir. You suck, dude. <laughs> Our legitimacy is going to suck ass. Fuck! Skanderbeg, why? Why did you take him on the hunting accident? Oh, my God. Okay, the 342 air is gone. I can get a church in Thessaly, or I can get a 333 with a weak claim. I'm not going to lie, 333 is not bad. That's actually a pretty decent ruler. Um, I mean, Skanderbeg is 58. Skanderbeg's 58. He's not, like, likely to die, but once you get to, like, 60, 65, it just, it, it just kind of gets worse. Um, and the fact that we've had him as a general for so long is, like, not also reassuring at all. I'm going to go ahead. Let's not get the, the weak claim. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. We're gonna have to try and see if we can wait for another with some for somebody else. Um, I trust Skanderbeg. I do. Are you kidding me, you fuckers? Thirteen and five? Damn it! <laughs> you guys suck. Son of a bitch. I can hire two more units of mercs. Let's go and try and engage them over here. One corruption, fine. Fine. So we have no prestige. Literally no legitimacy. Holy shit. Let's try and use Skanderbeg. Try and see what we can do here. Uh, I guess the Hungarians are not going at me. Fuck me, man. He got a 9 to a 5. Jesus. We got an 11 to an 8. 
We lost 8,000. Holy shit. So he's gonna move, he's gonna move uh, to Thessaly. I, I can probably guarantee you that. Let's see. He's gonna move to Thessaly. He's not gonna go to Castoria. The AI will, those fucking rebels will not attack into mountains. He will not attack into a mountain position. No fucking way. God damn it, we took more fucking lawns. Yeah, that's exactly what it thought. God, dude. I'm actually kind of curious, Bosnia. Why aren't you, like, helping me in some of these fights? Uh, is it worth attacking again? We can maybe attack again and then hire more mercenaries. I already know this motherfucker's not going to go to Castoria. They, he, they will not go into mountains. I can guarantee you that right now. They will never go into mountains. Uh, let's go and try to see what we can do here. Um, let's go for it. Might as well. Well, no, let's actually replenish a little bit. Let's see what he does. We're going to get some separatism. Hey, 313, Constantine. Nice. Only an average claim, though. He's, he's, he's worse in points, but I'll take whatever I can get right now. Average claim is kind of scary, though. I'll admit. God damn it, 16,000. You fucking suck. I don't think he'll go to Epirus. Will he? Let's go down to speed three. As soon as he moves, let's see what he does. Oh, thanks, Hungary. Yeah. Thanks. Let's see what he does. Where are you gonna go, buddy? Oh! God damn, really? We get there at the exact same time that he does. Oh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Really? We took the defense? God damn it. We got we took the minus two. What the fuck? Shit. Oh, we just got a, uh, a 12 to a zero. Wait, is that, that what that is? No. It's a 13. No, it's 11. 11 to a zero. You fucking dick. I hate rebels. I hate rebels. Oh, my God. It was made me so mad. Come on. Come on. Scatterbag, you can do it. Kill those calves, man. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Bunch of fucking bullshit. Okay, so we've got no army. There is Constantinople. The fall of Constantinople has occurred. The fall of Constantinople has happened. We're going to get Eperid Separatists. We need... Okay, so the Ottomans are starting to reconquest wars. We need troops. We have a little bit of manpower, not much. We're actually making some pretty damn decent money. I'll give it. I'll give you that. Oh my god! I cannot believe I won that fight. That's fucking crazy. That's insanity, man. Let's see. How's this Renaissance coming along? Oh, we can get the Renaissance. Sweet. Okay. Need some money, but all right. Okay, so we're coming back. We're bouncing back. We need. We still need that. That you know, this this two eighty five. Um, there is a little bit of an argument to be made to actually just debase the currency and just take a little bit of corruption. We need to press this button quite a few times, though. Um, I'd rather not. We already have three corruption. It's not going down really at all. Or at least we're on, at least we're ahead on Miltech. That's nice. These fucking separatists, man. I swear to God. Uh, we're going to have to extend our loans, I think, for a little while. Um, we'll have to deal with this inflation when we can. But I think we're going to need to extend the loans. I might need to recruit some more mercs for this. But for now, we're doing not bad. Uh, 
I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this. Demand a contribution. Um, should I get? That's what. That's what's interesting to me. Should I embrace the Renaissance first, or should I raise some troops with which to fight? Hmm. I can't raise any levies. That's right. Make a generous donation. No, don't want to do that. I think I will try and get this Renaissance first. Honestly, I'm making six tickets a month. God damn it. God damn it. They literally went at 80%. Both of them, you motherfuckers. All right, let's go and raise some troops. I can only afford mercs. I can't afford anything else. We don't have any manpower. Fuck, man. It's incredibly infuriating. Well, let's kill the rebels first, and then we're going to get embrace the renaissance. At this point, actually, I'm willing to take the corruption for the... Uh, Thank you, Skinderbag, for being alive. I'm willing to take the corruption to pay for the tech. Actually, at this point, honestly, yeah. Because I'm fucking infuriated with this shit. Where are you guys going to rise up? You're going to rise up in Nice? Uh, that's forests. Oh, that's not too bad. I can march up there if I have to. The Iperit, the Iperit Separatist is what I'm worried about. It's 1465. Damn. No cav. We don't have any cav. They have a shitty general. We got a minus. Really? We took a minus one for that, huh? Austria's and Brandis Renaissance. We're going to extend the loan. Should consolidate. Go to Epirus. Uh, One's in my cab. 1178. No, we're not going to take that tech. Not yet. Not yet. I want to see if I can get the Renaissance first. Actually, I might have to take that tech because if I get the Renaissance, I believe you actually lose points from your cap. It goes back to 999 instead of right now my cap's 1178. That's curious. Come on, Emperor's. I know you want to rise up. I know you want to do it. You dirty bastard. Okay, let's just try and get some money for now. We're gonna still keep up maintenance, but we're not making, we're not really losing like money anymore. We're actually still making some. We don't really have any. Oh, thank you. There we go. Yeah, minus two. Yeah. All right, finally. Oh shit! Look at that. Unrest just came back. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god. This shit sucks. Ottomans declared wow the Ottomans declared war on the car coin Lou. Holy shit. Really, dude, you guys are getting uppity. Holy shit, the Great Horde actually has a lot of troops. Car coin lose eleven thousand men. Force them to thirty-six. Oh, there's the rebels. They went away. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay. Okay. We're finally in a stable position. Okay. We're finally in a stable position. We have no unrest, positive income, manpower is coming back. We're not at war. Oh, God. Yeah. That's some serious shit. Oh, that's fine. That's all right. We're doing fine. This is this is fine. We'll we'll embrace the renaissance here in a little bit. We only need we need about 300 ducats. That's not too bad. It's not too shabby. We need 300 ducats. We'll get the 300 ducats. It might actually be a little little less than that, actually, now that I think about it. Scanderbag's still alive, too. Scanderbag, you motherfucker. Fucking love you, man. If you were alive today, I'd kiss your grave. We're gonna be able to get we're we're gonna be able to get this um Let's see, what can I do here? I can't study technology, right? Maybe I'll just fabricate them claims on you. Um do you still want this territory? You do, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna let people know that I want this bullshit. Let's see, how's our mana cap? It's not too bad. That is a Genoa. Uh, let's see. 
Ferrara, Luca. Holy shit, look at that trade league right there. I want to attack Venice, but I think actually the Ottomans might be my first priority. They're going to war with a lot of people right now. They're attacking the Karakoy and Lu, which is ballsy. What happens if I actually want to declare war on you? Who would join? I have favors with not even the Hungarians, not even the Austrians, not even the Polish. However, nobody would join me anyway. Distant war, fighting in another war. Actually, Poland would join the war. Hungary, you, you, uh, Hungary would actually do it, although their trust makes them a little less likely to join me. Uh, apparently, we have Orthodox Zealots and Albanian Noble Rebels. Clergy the Burger Loyalty. No modifiers, huh? Um, I'm going to go with the clergy because we need a loyal clergy for that tax modifier. The, the plus 10 influence is kind of scary, I'll admit. Plus 10 influence doesn't make me feel too good, but oh well. Um, we have to integrate Bosnia, although I don't know if I can actually afford to pay those Diplo points. I might actually have to hold off on that for a while. Uh, that's possible. Eh, it's not a bad deal. Hmm, we have 22 force on it, which is actually pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have to extend these loans, we're extending those loans. I want to pay back some of this, some of this, this inflation here. Reduce inflation, 75 admin for minus two. Well, it's actually 76 admin now, because it's damn corruption, but... Uh, let's just, let's just get my damn, I just want my damn renaissance. I just want my damn renaissance. Yeah. Bye, Bailiff. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Bailiff. Uh, we have negative prestige, which actually affects our embracement cost. That sucks. Hmm. Let's see. Bosnia. Have you converted this stuff to Catholicism? No, you have not. Let's actually make sure we've got... Oh, we actually do have capped out relations with Bosnia. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we will integrate this guy. He's got plenty of development, actually. I, I love that Catholicism. That will do wonders for us. How is this, uh, let's see, because if the more provinces you get, the cheaper it is to embrace. Macedonia and Thessaly are actually going to get it. Macedonia, uh, Thessaly gets it in 1472, Macedonia gets it in 1473. It actually might just be worth to wait for them to be embraced. I'd save a little bit of money. However, I'm going to be getting this here anyway in just a little bit. Uh, let's go and claim it, dear name. How's, how's the war going for you, Ottomans? Looks like well, I would say. 43,000 manpower, or 43,000 troops. He's 35 and 9. He's got 9 cav. Holy shit. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, dear. Poland and Hungary, huh? Oh, dear. Oh, it might be time to go to war again. <laughs> it might be time to go to war again. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Let's, let's, I'm actually, I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to debase this currency here. I'm going to embrace this institution. We've got, we've got points. We've got one month to spend this bullshit. Take an idea group. We're going to go religious. In 1470, we're going to focus on admin entirely. And what's your mil tech, dude? Holy shit, look at that. We've got greater mil tech than the Ottomans. And we still have Skanderbeg. We still have Skanderbeg. I could easily invade this motherfucker. We got Stratioti Cavalry. I still got to pay back these loans. It's 343 in uh, ducats in debt. But I can invade, I can invade the Ottomans. The Ottomans have 43,000 men, zero manpower, 47 force limit. He's got one, two, three, four, five forts in my immediate vicinity. I could do it. With Hungarian and Polish help, I can do it. Now, who are you at war with again? The Teutonic Order and the Livonians? 
Ah, oh, shit. I think I have to wait for him to be done with that war. But... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Now, let's also consider this here, because actually, I do realize Hungary wants Vadin, Sofia, and Nigbalu. And then Poland wants Silistre, and then, um... God, what's the name of this place? Thrace. Yeah, Burgess. That's what it is, Burgess. So, I mean, I don't want to give them anything, right? I'm not going to give them land. They're not going to get it. I don't care if they want it. They're not going to get it. I'm calling them in on favors, not promises of territory. So that means that in one war, I would have to take all of this. I'd have to take enough territory to where I don't have to worry about money or manpower ever again. Which would be all of this. Now, how's, how's aggressive expansion? Holy shit, dude. We still have aggressive expansion from, from that war like 10 years ago. I can't believe it. That's interesting. If I had to prefer territory, it'd probably be Constantinople and Adirne that I'd have to take. This is actually Turkish and Sunni. Although this is Greek. What about Bulgarian? That's right. We do some Bulgarian stuff. Hmm. These are all Bulgarian Orthodox. And then I can even attack Wallachia a little later. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So maybe we'll pay back our debt. But maybe I actually think I will declare this war. I think this war... Um, we're going to have to declare this war. We'll have to. I don't know if there's a better chance right now. Oh my god. Muscovy's working his ways down south. That's scary. Muscovy conquest of Tembov. Crimea is occupied by the QQ. Um, like I said, I might have to wait for Poland and Lithuania to be done with this conflict first. Why the hell is Brandenburg out here? That's weird. Brandenburg, you allied in this war? Oh, yeah, you are. So the Teuton, Teutons and Livonians. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So I call in Poland and Hungary and, and basically take all of this territory to the west of the Black Sea. And then I might I might suffer hung Hungary and Poland breaking the alliances, I'll admit. But honestly, at that point, I might be strong enough to where I don't need them. Right? Yeah, that would probably be that would probably be uh, not bad. Mm, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. We've got better mil tech. Well, the Ottomans have better admin and diplo than me, but other than that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll figure out how that goes. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much.